Fan was sitting under a tree making sketches of the key players in a mystery. Sometimes she found that drawing had a way of helping her collect her thoughts. She had John Binky, Mr. Morris, even herself. And now she was working on Buster. Everyone else in her sketches looked perfectly normal, even better than normal. Buster, however, had his eyes crossed and his tongue sticking out. Suddenly, a scoop of ice cream landed on the stretch. Fern looked up. Buster was standing there. He had snaked behind the tree to see what she was doing. Oops, he said. Were you spying on me? asked Fern. Buster shook his head. Me? Hardly. It is true, of course, that a detective should be able to see without being seen. But I wasn't practicing. I was just passing by. He glanced down at the sketches. I have to say, though, it doesn't look like you're making much progress. Progress, cried Binky, coming up behind them. That's the word I wanted to hear, in fact. The more progress, the better. I'm glad to see that you two are working so well together. That's us, said Buster. We're quite the team, Fern said Dali. Great, said Binky, so tell me what have you found out? Buster cleared his throat. After considering the whole situation in great detail, an assembly, the different clues and interviews. Yes, said Binky. Fern has decided that you did it yourself. What? Binky turned to Fern. That's not true, she insisted. It's what you said, Buster reminded her. Fern looked embarrassed. Well, um, you didn't understand what I meant. You see, Binky, it's so obvious that it's you, that it's obviously not you. Binky folded his arms. Say that again, she did. She did. Binky scratched his head. I didn't understand any better the second time. He sighed. But I do understand that you have no other suspect. We haven't given up yet, said Fern. True, said Buster. Don't worry, we'll unravel the whole enchilada before the cat gets out of the bag. Binky just nodded because it didn't seemed to help when he asked anyone to repeat things. Well, I hope you get some results soon. I'm so nervous about this. I can't even kick a ball right. He dropped, kicked his soccer ball and watched it bounce off trees before rolling down a hill. Hey, come back here, he shouted, chasing after it. Poor Binky, said Fern. Buster swallowed. If we don't find some solution soon, he could be up the creek in the pokey for sure. They stared at their notes. I have one possible idea, Fern began. Um, so do I, said Buster. Okay, what's yours? You first. No, you first. Buster snorted. I bet you don't even have an idea. I do too. Fern insisted. Then what is it? Well, what's yours? You first. Fern groaned. How about if you tell Mr. Morris? Maybe he'll know what to do next. Unless you think it's a bad idea. I'll tell Mr. Morris my idea if you tell him yours. Deal. They shook hands on it and went off to find Mr. Morris.